how does the um, workflow for the approval process looks like so in this uh, video I'm going to show you how does it look like but before that let's see how the uh, book uh, absence form created event links into that workflow itself so to do that we use this business object builder and we key in this uh, absence form right and we display and now we can see that under the events there is this created event right and from here we know that this has this event now we go back to find out uh, who waits on who may wait on the event we do a simulation So we key in this object here and key in that event. Right, uh, we can select the event from here. Once the object has been uh, uh, populated, so we can select the event here and we can click execute, which will simulate that event. And once we simulate that, we can see that there is one particular task uh, which actually. Uh, would be successfully started if that event occurs and this is the this is the task and uh, what we can do is that we can display the task now we're looking at the task and in this task we can see which workflow it belongs to it actually belongs to this particular workflow right and we can actually look at the definition of the workflow by going in from here And this shows the definition of the workflow. And I'm going to uh, resize this one a little bit. Okay, now this is the uh, particular workflow that was. Um, waiting on that uh, event created thing and now let's look at the workflow itself so this is uh, this shows a complete view of the workflow and we can uh, zoom in a little bit by looking at this starting portion and the starting portion is a little bit interesting because we can now see that It has a workflow started um, icon, which is typical of every workflow in SAP. <clears throat> and you can also see that there's another uh, form created uh, event here, right? So this, the definition of this is created using this one, uh, basic data of the workflow. And from here, it goes into the start events. So you can see that from here, uh, this is the definition which says that this particular uh, workflow actually will be triggered by this event form created from this object, right? Created, right? So you can see that and it has been activated, right? So um, we can't deactivate it because this is, a, uh, this is not within the access right for us to do it. You can actually deactivate it to delink it from this event right, if you have the rights to do it. So this shows how you uh, how um, that is uh, being linked. And what is interesting here, you can see that uh, the workflow is a little bit kind of similar to an EPC diagram that you might typically be seeing. So from this event, it triggers down and goes to approve notification. Right, so that was the one that goes into uh, the work item which you see just now, which asked me to approve it. Right, and from there, I can have a choice of let me just uh, resize it a little bit so that it makes it easier to read. So you can see that 
I can have a choice to approve it or to reject it. Right? So if I approve, which was what happened, then uh, SCP workflow here try to set a flag. Okay, and uh, let's have a look at what, what flag is trying to set. So we're trying to set a flag all right, with a value of zero. And if I reject it, uh, it will also set. Uh, 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 if I reject it, then uh, it becomes a notification being sent to the uh, requester, right? And the requester has an option to revise it or to uh, delete it. And let's have a look at this. What what are the actions that can be done? Because this is a user decision. So the, use, the the requester can have an option to to say revise, right? So the outcome is a revise, or he could have a choice to withdraw the notification and the outcome is a delete. Right? So there are two options here. There are two choices here. So this is a user decision with a question mark, right? So if the user says, okay, I uh, I would want to revise it, then the flag will be set again and this time around you can see that the flag has been set to a value of 1 okay and if he if he doesn't want to revise it the flag also will be set and this time the flag is set to 0 just like uh, when the uh, superior would to, were to uh, disapprove it or to reject it and what is going to happen is that you can see that there are more actions here so uh, you can revise and if you say yes I want to revise it, you revise it and it goes down here and then what happened is that there's a loop activity here so let's look at the what happened here double click and the conditions for exit is that if the flag is uh, not equals to 1 then it will loop okay so you can see that um, under what condition will it be set to 1? That is when you want to revise it, right? So when you want to revise, that's where it, the flag is set to 1 and therefore uh, it will go back. So the flow will loop back all the way. This is the one, right? So it will loop back all the way and uh, it will go all the way to a resubmission this is the one so it comes back here and it goes for another approved notification again right so that's how it goes but if the uh, superior were to approve it then it sets the flag and the flag is set to zero it will come down and it will send a notification of approval to the requester and it comes down to here and it comes down to loop here and the loop will detect for a zero and it will exit because the flag is set to zero and it will exit and it will come to the workflow completion right so that's how it goes uh, just note that uh, if you're looking at this one there is a kind of interesting thing here because when you try to send an email out uh, the message somehow I think is wrong it says that we regret to inform you that the absence blah 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 uh, has been rejected so I think the message here is not quite correct just take note of that but uh, that shows the how the workflow works okay so this is pretty much how a the uh, approval workflow works and this one is good because it shows you how an event triggers the workflow right so and that's about it